Good morning, friends. It is Tuesday morning. I'm going to bring you along just for a day in my life. Um, I'm starting up here, though, because Anne is sleeping downstairs, so I'm going to have to voice over. I have a lot to do today. We'll see what gets done. I am just in old work clothes today. Um, I'm not going to ruin anything decent because I'm going to be in the kitchen a lot. We're having the... Um, Chipotle bowls for dinner, and that's a lot of work, so I'll be cooking a lot of that stuff. Actually, I think I'm going to do some of it on the Blackstone. Um, I need to make bagels if I have time, and I also need to get some broth going, and what else? I'd like to think I was going to make zucchini relish, but that'll never get done. That'll be saved for later in the week. And I think my mom's BFF is coming over today to visit with us this morning. So busy day. Let's get it started. Starting on the chicken broth, I have four carcasses in there. Some of them are rotisserie chickens that my sister-in-law gave me. Some are my homegrown ones, whatever I had in the freezer. I have celery, carrots, and onions, salt, pepper, and apple cider vinegar also. And I also have several more to make another batch. I'm just going to throw those right in the freezer. I filled it with water. And now I'm going to bring it up to a boil and then I'm just going to turn it down so it simmers for 24 to 36 hours. I like to get all that flavor out. While I'm doing that, I'm going to package up eggs. Okay, so why is my camera not focusing? Okay, I have a bunch of apples in the fridge that are kind of past their prime for regular eating. So I'm going to slice up a couple and make a German pancake with an apple base for breakfast. And then whatever's left, I'm just gonna cook down and make some applesauce and just throw it in the freezer. I'm not gonna can it or anything, just a quick, easy applesauce. I just don't want to waste these apples. Okay, change of plans. Um, instead of doing the apple German pancake, I'm just gonna make all applesauce with those apples. It'll probably just make one or two servings or one or two dinners, but that's okay. I just don't wanna waste them. But I don't wanna use these in the German pancake because I have leftover raspberry and blueberry syrup and I wanna use that. So we're just gonna make a little bit of applesauce. I'm not even doing it my regular way of pulling out the KitchenAid attachments and all because there were so few apples. I'm just doing a... I, I cut them all by hand and all that stuff. So there wasn't many. So I'm just gonna let those cook and then I will blend them up. And I am not even gonna can them. I am just going to freeze it. Okay, making the German pancake. So there's three eggs in here and a half a cup of flour. Just mixing that up. Then I'm gonna add in three quarter cup of milk. Now in the oven I have my 10 inch cast iron skillet with a tablespoon of butter. I have that in the oven preheating to 425 and then we'll just dump this in there. Then we are going to add some vanilla extract and a dash of salt. Mix that in. And then we're just gonna wait until the skillet heats up, pour this in, and then cook it for about 22 to 25 minutes. Okay, the butter is melted, the oven is hot, so I am just gonna pour this right in here. The butter got a little well done because I didn't hear the oven go off, but it'll be fine. We're gonna put that in there and we're gonna pop it in the oven for about 22 to 25 minutes. Okay, the apples are done cooking, so I just drained off the water, and I'm gonna let them cool a little bit. And I'm just gonna throw probably a little bit of apple juice or water back in there and throw my immersion blender in and call it a day. Just quick and simple, because um, it was such a small batch, so. While these are cooling, I'm gonna start working on the marinade for tonight's chicken. Okay, to do the marinade for the chicken, we're gonna start with a seven ounce can of chipotles in adobo sauce. You 
Then to that, we're gonna add a teaspoon of cumin. Cumin, cumin, however it is you say it. I'm not a huge fan, not gonna lie. Then a teaspoon of black pepper. Teaspoon of dried oregano. A quarter cup of chopped red onion. The juice of two limes, about a quarter cup. And then one teaspoon of kosher salt. We are just gonna put that in the food processor and we are going to blend it until it becomes a paste. A marinade paste. So let's see. Okay, there is our marinade. Now, I definitely should have read the comments before I made this because it says how spicy it is and you could take the peppers out and just use the adobo sauce and it'll be less spicy, but you'll still get the flavor. So I have a feeling my bowl tonight may be vegetarian because if this is so spicy, but I'm gonna have Adam give it a quick little taste before I pour it on our chicken. Okay, Adam's gonna taste it, ignore my messy kitchen. I would just, okay. That's it's too much. <laughs> it's a lot. We'll see. Now, Adam has like an asbestos mouth. He can handle heat. I can't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's kind of hot. <laughs> okay, we may have to pivot here. Let me think about this. Okay, our Dutch baby is out of the oven. Holy mackerel looking good though so i'm gonna get the syrup ready and we're gonna have breakfast and i'm gonna think about this marinade okay this is entirely too hot and no one is going to be able to eat it so we are going to pivot i do not have any more chipotles but i did find this are they the cleanest ingredients around nope modified cornstarch natural flavor but guess what? It's going to do because sometimes 80, 20, 90, 10, this is what we're going to be using for the chicken instead of the devil's brew that I made. Okie dokie. There is our chicken in the marinade. I just cut it up into like bite sized pieces and then I'm going to let that marinate all day. Okay, here are my apples. They sat a little longer than I wanted to because, well, my mom's best friend came to visit and then I was outside talking to a neighbor. So we're just gonna use the hand blender and get these blended up. So there we go. I took apples that were a bit past their prime. Did not waste them, turn them into some delicious applesauce. I'm gonna put them in a freezer container. Normally I would just use a Ziploc bag, but this is here, so I'll use this. And pop them in, pop it in the, either the fridge or the freezer, I don't know. I'll have to look and see if we're having something this week for dinner that applesauce would go nice with. If we are, I'll just keep it out. If not, I will put it in the, freezer and save it for another time so there we have it and got a decent amount from those little bit of shrivelly apples and I already tasted it and it's delicious it was nice because it was a variety of different apples so it's got a nice taste to it but there we go no waste so still cooking um, this guy's got some news to share. It's been an exciting two days in our house for him. Yes. Because in the last two days, he's gotten how many job offers? Three. He got two yesterday that he was meh 
on. But... Like, it's cool I got it, but I was waiting for the one that I got today, which um, is at Jefferson Health, working in their behavioral health unit, working with, like, kids ages 13 to 18, and just, like, getting them through their day-to-day -day tasks. Like, they they're, they go home at the end of the day. It's not like a Braxis where they're there. They're criminals. They're not criminals. They just have some mental health problems. So they go there for the week, and then they end up going back to wherever, like, school they were from. So it's basically like a, a school for the week to learn coping mechanisms. School for things. the week, W-E-E-K. Yeah, yeah school w -E -E -K. for the week. -E -E <laughs> yeah, I realize that. Yeah, school for the week, like, the length, the duration. Yes. So, so I'm excited for that. And when do you start? Uh, July 15th. As of right now. Yeah, so he is very excited. And let me tell you, he's adulting. He's looking over all the uh, health insurance stuff. Yeah, and vision. yes, and deciding what plan he wants. And, you know, we've been talking about the pros and cons of that. So adulting. Adulting. But that was not... If you remember, we've been talking about exciting news for Adam for a while now. And he wasn't ready to share. He's finally ready to share that. It's not going to be happening probably for six more months. Yeah, yeah probably about the six start, months. start of next year. Start of next year, January of 2024. But that's 25. what he's... 25. Yeah, 25. But that's what he's really excited about. So, yeah, you so, want to tell him? Uh, been convincing her for the last better part of the decade for this since I was super, super small. I know what I wanted to do my entire life, and that was joining the military. And I'm joining the National Guard sometime in what well, was supposed to be the fall is now going to be the winter because I don't want to go to this job for three months and say, yeah, got to go. So I want to build rapport for a few more months and I want to study a little bit more for the test that I have to take in order to get into the military. And hopefully to be starting that at the start of the new fiscal year of 2025. I just talked to my recruiter on the phone. So, yeah, so it is New Jersey Army national guard yeah which means it's part-time so he weekend will, warriors yes he will still keep his job at jeff um he will go away one week well he'll be going away three months for basic yeah but then he'll be one weekend a month and two weeks a year correct for his military stuff so he kind of getting the best of both worlds here yeah he gets to do his military stuff but it's not full-time because i think if i think you kind of realized you might not want to do it full time. Yeah, full time might be a lot, but I'm so, not okay with. So going this to is what. So, but this will fulfill that want and need and desire to do military. So, lots of exciting stuff here for this guy. Now, if we could just get a car. Hopefully tomorrow. Yeah. Well, we'll see. we're waiting to hear back from the adjuster. Yeah. Um, from her insurance company, the girl that hit him. Um, I placed the claim yesterday. They just need to verify coverage. Oh my gosh. Please, please let her have coverage. I mean, she showed that she did, but you know. Only can do so much. And um, and then we're just waiting here from Ingester who will come out and check his car, decide how much they're going to give us, and then we move on. Thankfully. Move on from this nightmare. Move on from this nightmare. Hopefully. So that's what's going on in his life very exciting stuff adam update could that's not be more proud thank you now he's going to the gym yes <laughs> and i'm gonna get back to cooking okay we are gonna keep on moving here first thing we're gonna do is get our poblano peppers roasting that's what these are poblanos i'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on them and we are going to put them under the broiler, not long. We're going to keep an eye on them. We just want them to get blistered and roasted. We're going to turn them several times, but we're going to keep a good eye on them. can also do this over an open flame, either on a grill or on a gas stove, but I just throw them under the broiler. You just want them to get nice and soft and roast it. Once they come out, we're going to put them in a bowl and cover them tightly with plastic wrap and the steam from the heat and the plastic wrap on top is going to make them very soft and we'll be able to just kind of pull the skin right off of them. So as soon as the broiler's hot, they're gonna go in. We're gonna get started on probably our fajita veggies. These are for the corn salsa, but my corn is falling. I forgot to take that out. So we're gonna get started on the fajita veggies. Okay, totally forgot to film doing this because, well, I was talking. So just in my skillet, I have a chopped up red onion, like a half-ish, 
I have four green peppers and one red pepper in a little bit of olive oil and I am just going to cook those up and these will be the fajita veggies that go on our um, our bowls. You can season them any way you want. The recipe I have calls for a little bit of oregano, salt and pepper, so that is what I'm gonna do. Okay, these are looking good. Look how nice and charred they are. I'm gonna do it one more time and try to get that section charred. And well, that one looks pretty good actually. I'm gonna just, a couple more minutes under the broiler. Okay, the peppers are out of the oven and I just have them in a bowl with some saran wrap and you can see the steam in there. They're getting all nice and soft and mushy and we'll just peel the skin right off when we're ready. Okay, for the corn salsa, we've got our corn in a bowl. And to that, we're gonna add some chopped onion. I don't add a lot because Doug doesn't do well with raw onion. So I don't add a ton of it. Just enough for some flavor, but not enough to make his belly hurt. That's a whole family thing with his family. Um, his dad was the same way and his brothers are both the same way with raw onion. Okay. Now we are gonna add in our chopped cilantro. So <laughs> sticking to my fingers. Then we are going to add the juice of two limes. Give that a good mix. Oh, this smells wonderful. And then we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna deal with our peppers. So there they are. And as you see, the skin peels right off. And then we have that beautiful roasted and charred pepper. Stuff all over the counter here, folks. So today, Doug is back in the office. It is his first day back in the office in about two weeks, which is crazy. He has school tonight, but um, he doesn't have to go in person. It's a Zoom thing because the teacher is not going to be there in person so they're doing it on zoom so he's fine with that because it saves him a 40 minute drive six dollars in tolls or no three dollars and some cents in tolls and lots of time because instead of having to leave at like 5 30 he can walk upstairs at 10 of 7 and instead of getting home at almost 10 o'clock He's home as soon as it's over. So now I'm just chopping up the poblanos and we're going to add them to the corn. I'm really, it's, it calls for two poblanos. These were pretty big. So I'm just going to kind of go by what, how I think it looks. Once I get this done, I'm gonna clean up and I think I may take a little bit of a break. 
my book is due back to the library and I need to get it done. So I think I may take a little break and read. Actually, I have to go out in the garden. I may wait till later tonight when it's not 95 degrees to go out in the garden. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll just take a nice little break. Get some lunch. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that looks lovely. It's just like Chipotle. I'm going to give it a little smell. Oh, yeah. Not sure if it needs a little more pepper or not. I still have this other one here. But I think this is pretty good. Maybe just a little tiny bit. Oh, the other one had no seeds in it. This one has a lot. Ann and Ann, yeah, Andrew's home from school. He is officially done for summer. I think they're going to go over to the outlets. And I think tomorrow they're going to go down to the beach, down to the shore. Um, someone asked me in the comments. I saw it. I just haven't had a chance to answer yet. Um, Ann seems to be here a lot. <laughs> Does Andrew ever go to Connecticut? And that answer is uh, pretty much no. Anne thinks Connecticut is boring and there's nothing to do. So Anne would rather come down here where they have Philly with all the things to do in Philly. They've got the shore. So Anne likes to come here. So there's a short answer. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to put a cover on this. I'm going to get it in the fridge and let it All the flavors mill. Before I do that, I am going to add a little bit of salt to it. It does need a little bit of salt. We're going to cover it, get it in the fridge, let all those flavors mill beautifully together for tonight. And like I said, I'm going to clean up this kitchen. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I still have guacamole to make and the cilantro lime rice, but we're gonna do that closer to dinner, of course. I may get the stuff prepped for it, but I don't know, we'll see. Okay, after a lovely afternoon of reading and stuff, give that a stir too, Adam. Okay. Uh, Adam is making the lime cilantro rice for us. It's just two cups of water, two cups of rice, a handful of chopped cilantro, the zest of a lime, and the juice of a lime, so. I'm gonna get that going in the rice cooker. I am working on the guacamole, and then I'll show you when we put it all together. Okay, I am trying my hand out on the blackstone. I'm going to do the meat on there. I didn't bring out a, a tripod, so we'll see how we can do this. Okay, I put down a thin layer of olive oil and then just put the meat on there, and we're just gonna let it cook. until it's done. Kind of cool. Well, I will say my first time using it, absolutely love it. This cooked so fast and so easy and not a big mess in the house with the splatter so i'm going to get it in a bowl and we're going to get these bowl chipotle bowls put together okay. okay here are our fajita bowls so we've got cilantro lime rice we've got the fajita veggies just like chipotle the chicken cheese guacamole corn salsa we have some jarred regular salsa some chips to go with the guac, some sour cream, and Andrew's chopping up some tomatoes. So, there is dinner. Okay, there is my bowl all made. How is it, everyone? Very good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up? I don't think Ann's tasted hers yet. She's like me. <laughs> Takes a while to build it. 
dinner is all cleaned up. I ate about maybe two thirds of my bowl. I tried to make it small and I did, but it's just too hot to eat. So now it's time to get in here and pick five million more zucchini because we're picking them every day, sometimes twice a day, and we can't even keep up. So I also need to check the green beans. I'm trying to get this done. I'd rather do it not when it's blaring hot, but I wanna get it done before the Phillies game. I see one zucchini, two zucchini, three zucchini, four, five, at least six zucchini to pick. Oh my goodness. Well, went out in the garden and we've got lots of cucumbers, lots more zucchini. We still have all that zucchini. There's a ton of kohlrabs to pick, but we're never going to eat them all. So I might find someone to who wants them, but we got a bunch more cucumbers, a bunch more zucchini and just a little bit of green beans and one pepper tonight. So I've got to get started. Probably all day Thursday, I will be canning zucchini relish. Tonight's a school night for Doug, but the teacher couldn't be there. So it is a Zoom school night for Doug. So he is enjoying his night sitting up here and watching class on Zoom. So my friends, that will be it for today. Andrew is at his Knights of Columbus meeting. Anne is over there. Adam is over there, and we are all watching. The Phils. So that's my night. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. We did a lot of cooking. A lot of cooking. We have a lot more coming up this week. You saw all the zucchini. I need to make a ton of zucchini relish, which will make my sister and Jason over at the Average J very happy. Oh, and now my nephew, too, because he likes it. So that's what I'll be doing later on in the week. Plus canning up all this chicken broth. So the canner is definitely going to be used a lot this week. So I will update you with Doug's appointment tomorrow. Um, we're supposed to go look at a car for Adam tomorrow night. But I ran the car facts on it. And I do not think we're going to be looking at that car. Um, I have to have Doug read the car facts to make sure I'm reading it right. And then we'll go from there. But anyway. Back on marketplace. I will let you know when we find out when Doug's surgery is and all that good stuff. So that's it. Have a fantastic day and I will catch you all in my next video.